Today, I am in search of dragons and damsels. Well, okay, dragonflies and damselflies, that is. And I've got my handy dandy guide here to dragonflies and damselflies. And hopefully I will learn about some and learn some new names and uh, hopefully we'll see some. It's a very hot sunny day today so hopefully they'll be out. Oh one just flew by. I'm seeing lots of this kind widow skimmers. There are skimmers and dancers and banners and cruisers and club tails but these guys are like little jet planes out here. This is going to be harder than I thought. They just cruise on by so fast. But they're black with white tips, just like the widow skimmers. And there's lots of them, and there seem to be flying in pairs sometimes. And they come up from behind me and go right by me before I can get a a view on them with the camera. I'm going to keep looking, see if I can find one that lands. Oh, this one is blue. I think this is a blue dasher. Back again. this willow and it's got a monarch butterfly I mean a caterpillar on it that's great I've seen many more monarch caterpillars this year I hope they are coming back that's great but I've also seen a lot of Widow skimmers here, but again, they're so fast. I look closer at this plant it's on, and he is on a marsh milkweed. It's not a willow after all. There's many of them along here, and there's uh, the little pods up on top. Marsh milkweed here. Another blue dasher and those uh, oh, the widow skimmer just flew by there I think I've got a widow skimmer in view here looks like it and he's standing still widow skimmer blackish with some white stripes on his wings that's what we've been seeing most of here. And they are fast, like little miniature jet planes. This one just happens to be standing still and waiting for me to photograph them. All right, so we've got widow skimmers, blue dashers, and no damselflies yet. They're around here, though. Here's our first damselfly, the most common, a bluette. And sometimes you can tell the difference between a damselfly and a dragonfly because when the damselfly lands, it folds its wings up across its back again. When a dragonfly lands, it spreads its wings out. So there are many different kinds of damselflies and dragonflies. This is one of the more common damselflies, the bluette. They're so gentle. Sometimes I've had them land on the boat or on my arm or if I'm swimming, 
doing the breaststroke, they'll land on my nose. And this one's just, whoop, I was going to say he's standing still, but there he goes. And they lay eggs in the water, both the dragonflies and the damselflies. And they hatch into larvae or nymphs in the water. And uh, the dragonfly nymphs can last two or three years. And I'm not sure about the damselfly larva nymphs. It's back again. I'm too far away to tell what kind it is. I could only see the colors. It doesn't look like a widow skimmer. Doesn't look like a blue dasher. Maybe it could be a darner. They've got a little bigger heads and they're a little more colorful. But she is laying eggs. Maybe when I look at this, I'll be able to tell. I've also seen some white tails. They're pretty common also. I'm at the Hartshe Pond. Here's another close-up picture of a bluet damselfly. Oops. They don't stay in one place very long either. I wish I could see this one a little better. He's far off, so I'm using my zoom lens. It looks like either the widow skimmer or the white tail skimmer. Like I say, I can't tell from here. I'll have to wait until it's on the, the screen. So if it's got a white tail, then it's a white tail skimmer. If it doesn't, otherwise it looks like the widow skimmer again. I'm at uh, Half Moon Lagoon back again. There seems to be a lot of dragonflies and damselflies around here. Oh, here's a new one. I'm going to have to look this one up. I think it's an amber something. He's sitting nice and still. I don't always get a good picture like that. I'll look him up and tell you what kind it is. There he goes. Oh, he comes right back. Good. Let's take a look at his head a little bit. It's kind of a reddish. Oh, I gotta go look this one up right away. Doesn't have a club tail, so it's not a club. He's back again. He's got black spots on his wings. Oops, where'd he go? There he is. It's not an amber. I've got my chart with me here. He's not real red. I think he's a Halloween pennant. That's what I'm guessing him as. I'll show you the chart. Here's the amber wing. Pretty clear wings. No spots. Here's the Halloween pennant. It's not real red though. 
And that one's not real red either, but he's got lots of spots on its wings. Or the calico pennant. I'm thinking the Halloween pennant. But wait, there's another one. These are the meadow hawks. And they seem to be much redder. That one's got spots close to his body. But our guy doesn't have those same spots. Here he is. I'm thinking it's the Halloween pennant. One more, one new one we've got here. Halloween pennant. Says he loves to sit on prairie grasses. And stems. The blue dasher. The uh, Halloween pennant. The bluet damselfly. All right, let's see what else we can get. Oh, the other one was the Halloween pennant today. I'm going to look this one up to make sure that I've got this one right. Yep, I just looked it up. 12 spotted skimmer. That's this guy. Let's see what color his tail is. It's hard to tell right here. He's sitting nice and still though. Oh, this is wonderful. There's so many different kinds of dragonflies and damselflies. I really want to find a jewel-winged damselfly. They've got black, wide wings. They're so distinctive. Down a little, and uh, I just noticed that the uh, Halloween pennant is also in the skimmer family. That's what this guy is. just land in. He seems to be staying around these same flowers, this fur vein here, right next to the pond. All right, here's a new one again. This one is green. I'm thinking this is one of the darners. All right, the wings seem to be clear. He's got black spots on his tail. He's all green. Let's see if we can see any markings on his face or abdomen. Oh, this is great to find another one. And he's sitting nice and still also. I think it's a darner. But again, I'll look on the chart and see. I'm learning these the same as you are right now. And it's so interesting. They're both as nymphs and as adults. They're super predators for other bugs. I'm looking at him closer to see if I think he does have a club tail. It doesn't look like it. Mostly green. Kind of small. Oh dear. I gotta look at the chart again. Maybe he's a young one of one of these kinds. I found one that looks more like him. An eastern pond hawk female. They look just like this. A pond hawk. Oh, don't you love that name? Eastern pond hawk female. Oh, we are just going to town today, finding new ones. I'm going to have to review this video several times so I remember them. 12 Spot Skimmer, Halloween Pennant, and the Pond Hawk Female.
This is the common white tail. So this is a new one that we did not see yet. And you can tell it because of its white tail. How about that? The common white tail. So we've got several now. And <clears throat> there's a lot of the uh, widow skimmers with a single black mark on each wing. And I saw a lot of blue dashers here today too. So a lot of the same ones, but this is the first time we've seen the white, white tail skimmer. Yeah, it's another skimmer. It's not a darner or a cruiser or a club tail. But we'll see what else we can see around here. And this one's sitting nice and still for us and showing off its nice white tail. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's back again. So he does have some markings on the wings also. But the big identifying thing is the white tail. This looks like one of the blue dashers up here. Lots of the common bluettes, the damselflies. At least I think that's what I'm looking at here. in this area of the marshy area there's lots of uh, wild rice plants and there's a current although it's uh, very shallow here but the current is pretty strong the wind is very strong today but there's not a lot of uh, dragonflies up this way There are some waterfowl. I can't tell exactly what they are. They've got quite long necks. So they could be geese, I guess. Oops. Could be ducks of some kind. Maybe I'll try and get a little closer and see what I can see. Even though we're looking for dragonflies and damselflies, it's always nice to do a little exploring and finding other things. Yeah, I guess they're looking like ducks. Can't tell what kind though. going to get any closer to them. As I got up a little closer, they flew off. And they looked like ducks to me. As I'm paddling along, I spy another blue heron. Looks like he's trying to swallow something. Could have been a fish. 
fish. A frog. Just a little bit closer without scaring them away. like something is uh, fighting going down. Something doesn't want to be swallowed. Keeps walking with his mouth open. Looking a little more relaxed like he's hunting again. Oh, thought he saw something. This looks like a little more colorful one. So fly. Looks like the head is a different color. I'll check this out on the chart. I think the one we just saw was a rainbow bluet. But now here's a new one here. They're so small. They're like little blips of color. And it's so hard to tell them apart. Specks on their head or their bodies. These are definitely geese. The young are quite big by now. They're probably able to fly. Be getting ready pretty soon. eating the duckweed or maybe for them it's eating the gooseweed they're still with their parents though let's see it's hard to tell the color here I'm going to look on the chart and see what kind it is. Well, with my eyesight, I'm going to say it's an eastern blue fork tail. But I really can't tell the colors. Oh, now he's heading out. He's up here somewhere. Eastern fork tail. Here's a new one, I think. The east.
eastern amber wing sitting on the algae. There's been a couple of them around here. I'm going to check the chart. Yep, I think that's it. Eastern amber wing. It's kind of the similar color to the Halloween pennant, except there's no markings on its wings. These are amber wings. Oh, this is great. Another new one. Cool. There's lots of algae and duckweed on top of the water. And I guess I'm kind of glad there's some breeze because it kind of smells of rotting algae and rotting duckweed. It's just got that uh, bit of a rotting smell. But the breeze keeps me moving and the breeze keeps the odor away. Another one has landed on the boat. There are several of them that have landed on the boat. Oh, that one took off. Here's one on one of the cables. I'm going to go back to that first one. Let's see if I follow this cable. There he is. Let's see if I can identify him. From where I can see, he's looking like he's orange. An orange bluette. Not a blue bluette. An orange bluette. I think that's what that is. Oh, we have gotten so many today. This is great. Whoa, just happened to see this. A great picture of the white tail. Much closer than out on the lake. I'm in on the boat landing here. Oh, you can see the, the abdomen pulsing there too. The white tail dragonfly.